Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Aries and Aries, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. I'm doing these reads because we have like... I don't know, sign on sign, dating or whatever this is, business partnerships. I'm finding there seems to be a lot of business going on here. We're going to go ahead and get right into your read. I'm going to go ahead and obviously row A is going to be Aries A. Row B is going to be Aries B. Okay, so we're going to take a look and see what, just so with the reads that we have going forward for a little while, we can pick up the energy and see who's who because people have been showing up in doubles, right? So I'll think it's one Aries when it's really another. You'll be blaming somebody for something who has a whole nother intention or whatever. You know, know how you think about stuff. So <clears throat> we're going to take a look and see Aries A. In your relationship with Aries B, and guys, the sign is right here. I can see it. You can't, but it, you know. So Aries and Aries. <laughs> All right. All right. Tell me, what is your main concern? What's on your mind right now in this relationship? What is your main concern? What is your main concern here? What's your main concern? Losing your fortune. Aries A's main concern is losing their fortune. A lost fortune. I don't want to lose my fortune, my money, my foundation. Aries B, what is the main concern for you, please? What is the main concern? My sickness. I am sick. I have an incurable illness. I am sick. So one is concerned about one's health. The other one seems to be very concerned about their fortune. So I am concerned about my fortune, says Aries A. Aries B says I am concerned about my sickness. I have an incurable sickness, Melody. What's the common energy? Let me shuffle these. What's the common energy between these two? What do I need to know? In this deck, so I can reference it, please. What is a common energy? Okay, I guess we got death. Death is coming up as a common energy between you guys. There is fortune that comes out reversed for Aries A. Aries B has a sickness. It's an incurable disease that comes out for them. That's what they're. That's what's on their mind. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. Read should not take long. I don't believe it will. It shouldn't. They might, you never know. I want to see who or what this is about here. Give me the energies, please. Because I want to know who are these people. <clears throat> who are these people, please? Give me some sort of idea of who's who for Aries A, please. Give me Aries A. I'm going to shuffle these again. I shuffled them before I get up here. but That was an ugly shuffle. I want to do it on the camera. Tell me about Aries A, please, or what I need to know. Lead me in the right direction, please. Please. I wanted to flip. Okay. There's something with a mediator. Somebody's unwilling to compromise when it comes to something. Aries is saying that you could be operating out of the shadow side or shadow attribute of a situation here. There's something with negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda either personally or professionally. You're negotiating something and you have an agenda behind it. This is going on with your personal life or this is career. I'm picking up a lot about career with you, Aries A. All right, so you guys are negotiating something because it looks like you have some sort of a hidden agenda. Mediator came out reversed here. I'm going to keep it reversed just so. So we know that you're operating out of the dark side of it, perhaps, or that's what's on your mind. Something with your fortune and something with you trying to get ahead at work. Aries, you need more money? More. Give me one more. What else do we need to know about Aries? I don't mind pulling one more. So your main concern is your fortune and getting ahead. Corporate ladder. Or whatever ladder you're trying to climb. One more for Aries. A. There's something with a lover. It comes out reverse. Now, the shadow side to that. Obsessive passion that harms others. Self-destruction. Self-destructive devotion. Self-destructive devotion comes up for you guys here. So you, it seems like you're operating out of a place where you want to advance in your career. You're worried about your fortune. But it also says a lover operating out of your shadow side. Obsessive passion that harms others. Somebody's willing to hurt somebody for what they love. Right? What you perceive to be love. Right? So you guys have mediator and you have lover that comes out reversed here. 
<clears throat> mm, something about advances at work. What else? Give me one. I don't mind. Give me one more, please. Lover, reverse. I really, you know what? I'm going to leave that there. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But I do while I got these out, though. Give me Aries B, please. What's going on with them? So we see somebody here is trying to climb the corporate ladder and they're doing it crazy. Like, all right, any means necessary to get what they want in terms of turning their fortune around. Turning, I want a job. I want the job that I want. I want this and that. But the lover piece of it, obsessing over a lover. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or there's a Gemini in the mix that you're still thinking of or... It could be a Gemini getting in the middle of y'all's relationship. That's possible. I see that too. I see a theft here. They could be trying to steal your man or your woman. Whatever that's about. Ooh, child. Because they know somebody's sick, though. I got an Aries over here that don't feel good. Hold on. Aries, what's going on under your sickness? What do I... Okay, that was a quick flip. We got a queen. Now, the queen does come out reverse, right? So, obviously, this person is operating out of the shadow. Why does it look like that? Okay. Becomes arrogant, it says. Becomes arrogant when authority is challenged, controlling and demanding. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody who's controlling and, demand and demanding. This could be your energy. Maybe you're being perceived as controlling and demanding. Hmm. Arrogant. Somebody may have tried to challenge your authority here, Aries A. It says that you became arrogant. I don't know. It says that you're perceived as being controlling and demanding. Or you are. That's up to you. Somebody could perceive you. Because if the Aries A is perceiving you like that. And you're looking at them like, well, okay, I'll be that. But what you won't be doing is being my part-time lover. So, I don't know. I feel some pettiness here. Pettiness. Somebody's at work spreading some lies about you. Well, they may not be lies. They're spreading something about you. Maybe you don't want nobody to know or something. Somebody could be suffering from some sort of a sickness. Somebody here is operating out of the shadow side, out of arrogance, right? Give me one more for Aries B. We have bully. Somebody is bullying. <clears throat> Highlights your tendency to intimidate others. Helps you confront the inner fears that you bully. So it says here, Aries B, that you've been bullying somebody. Somebody's accusing you or you are the queen of something reversed. And when you the queen of anything reversed, that's never good. That ain't good. So the cards are saying that you are unloving here. It, or that's the energy coming up. Or this is how you see your other Aries. There's this energy of arrogance. Somebody's bullying because they're arrogant. Somebody who's being a mean queen. All right. They're out here bullying Fighting people, arguing, confronting people. They're one of them folks that will pull up on you, confronting folks. So that's the energy we have. We have somebody here who <laughs> appears to be some sort of a, I'm worried about my career, my fortune. Then you got this other one over here who's bullying somebody. But their main concern here is sickness. There's also death that is a common energy between both of y'all. I feel like one might be a financial death and the other one might be a physical death that you's are worried about. That's why we got one of you Aries out here, Aries A, trying to get to the top. You could be sleeping to do it or whatever's going on, right? But you're concerned about, I don't want to be starved or deathed out of something, workforce. This other one over here, they have some health stuff that they're dealing with, but it also says that they're portraying the role of some sort of a bully or something like that. Something about direct confrontation. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let's get into it, and I'll pull more if I need to. <clears throat> Aries A, we're going to go ahead and get into this. You have the five of wands that comes up for you guys. I don't know if this is a romantic relationship. It appears not to be, if you want the truth. It appears not to be. All right. So we have the five of wands that comes up for you guys. This talks about some sort of a competition. This competition is economic. It is social. Or it could be career. I really feel like this is career. The cards are saying, Aries, A, that you are scrambling for money. There's something where you guys are scrambling for money. You're scrambling for power. You are scrambling for success and recognition. 
It says here that there is a struggle that you could be having, something with a struggle in the marketplace, something with your ego being in the way. Ego battles, right? So you're fighting with coworkers. And it's egos that are getting in the way. You're fighting with people at work amongst yourselves over some things that is ego driven. We also have here for you the seven of wands that comes up. Some of you guys have the courage here. You're going to gain some kind of courage to stand up for something that you believe in. For some of you, you have fallen into some sort of complacency, but it's done for profit and gain. But profit and gain is going to be had after you hold off the competition. So I don't know what, what, what you mean by hold off. I feel like you guys might be placing obstacles in somebody's way to get to the top, to get what you want. That's what I'm feeling like. Remember, there's a competition going on here. We also see here the eight, ace of cups is coming up reverse for you. This could have been you guys trying to talk to somebody, like getting in their mix. Like, I want to get to know you type or something like that. The Ace of Cups here is reversed for you guys. There's some delays. There's some disappointments in love. The cards are saying that there was supposed to be a new beginning and it didn't develop the way you guys hoped. There's also some difficulty getting this new relationship off the ground. So it didn't develop and you just couldn't get it up off the ground the way you wanted to. For some of you guys, this was unforeseen. It was frustration and frustrating and obstacles were placed in your way. Frustrating obstacles, right? So you were holding off the competition and then it looks like the competition may have gotten ahead of you and put something in your way here. Unforeseen and frustrating obstacles. The time is not right for you to start something new. So you guys tried to develop a relationship with somebody, right? Your Aries, it didn't get up off the ground because it's not time to. It's not the time for you guys to start something new just yet. There's these unseen forces that are frustrating you. They're unseen because you can't see them. It's like they're not supposed to happen. This is not supposed to happen right now. But there is something here where death plays a part. So that could be the end of something having to do with this relationship for you, Aries A. Because you realize you can't get anything up off the ground. And on top of that is just not time. Right, Because you're worried about your fortune. You're worried about making it up the corporate ladder. For some of you guys, this is about a lover. All right, Being obsessed with somebody. Some of you guys, your energy might still be on somebody else. It could be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. That your mind is still on this person. For some of you guys, you could be thinking about a, um, a water sign. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Whatever that is to you. All right? In this relationship with Aries B, I see the chariot energy is coming up. Now, for some people, that is going to be a cancer energy that comes up. For some folks, it's going to be a Sagittarius. Take it out. Resonates. I'm looking at this. I'm getting cancer. I feel like for some of you guys, this is trying. This is you trying to hold together. And let me just go back to that. Trying to hold opposing forces together. You have to hold opposing forces together before taking on outer enemies or obstacles. If I had to take a look at this, I would say that there's somebody in your camp, somebody in your camp, somebody around you. This could be a Sagittarius. This could be a Cancer. I feel like you guys need to get some kind of control over this energy, whatever this is about, right? Because this is also about you taking control of your life, taking control of a relationship, a business, a partnership, making things right. This is saying here that you have some things on the inside that need to be fixed or focused on when it comes to a cancer. I'm calling this cancer. You just need to focus on something having to do with a cancer here that is an opposing force. You have to get some sort of grip on this first, and then you can spread whatever it is you're trying to do, outer enemies or obstacles. It's essential. It says it is essential to be in charge of opposites. So you have to fix whatever is opposing on the inside, and then you'll be able to spread that same strategy to the outside to carry something home, get something done, whatever that's about. I will tell you this, this card is about self-direction, Aries. This card is about inner conflicts, people or situations which require your immediate attention right now. There's a need for you guys to be bipartisan. Maybe you're part of government. There's something with solutions. They need to be middle of the road. 
whatever that's about for you, all right? Now, somebody could be fighting against this, so whatever. I personally feel like we're looking at two different areas. I feel like one is concerned about work, but if you go back to the origins of what was being said here, it is competition for economic, social, or career. I feel like this is career, but I feel like this is also socially driven as well. I feel like whatever this Aries A wanted from you, they weren't able to get it. It didn't develop. But the chariot card shows that Aries A is still going in the, in the direction that they need to go. This competition didn't necessarily matter to Aries A because Aries A already, well, Aries B, Aries B already knew where they were going. So I know where I'm going. I know I have to drive somewhere. I know I have to gain control of a situation. I have to gain control of my life. I have to gain control of my company where there's some issues on the inside. And then I'll be able to deal with the enemies, the competition on the outside once I've mastered or taken care of the monster that is operating on the inside, the cancer that is driving my business. Right? Hurting my business. This cancer is hurting me in some way. Something having to do with business. Something is not turning out the way you guys want it to. But you have to get hold of this, this cancer before it spreads. And then you'll be able to express, extend your plan to the outside where you guys will be able to have some, some sort of control over an enemy, it looks like. Something about an enemy or obstacles. They're going to come, but you have to be prepared. We have the world card that comes up for you guys. World card. I was thinking about how this actually applies to this. There's something about you guys completing some sort of a goal or lesson in this relationship. And I feel like with Aries A, it is their willingness to have courage to fight for something that they believe in. I feel like for some of you guys, you have the courage to fight for what you believe in, but there's also something about profit and gain after you hold off the competition. I'm concerned about that because the competition, the way it reads, it kind of feels like it could be borderline shady, but not illegal. So watch out for that, whatever that means to you. All right. Even, I don't even think you guys know you're in a competition, but if you don't know that you Aries A put you in a competition and this has something to do with work. I feel like somebody's trying to sabotage somebody, but with the world card, just to get back to Aries B, there's something with bare breasts, <clears throat> bare breasts and genitals. There's something about somebody holding a wand. This could be sexual. Or this could be somebody who is online. Maybe you know somebody who, I don't know, uses a wand. I don't know. Anybody could use a wand. I see it all the time, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, the cards are telling us here that this is something with a magician. I want you guys to know something. I'm going to elaborate. So Aries B, I want to say that you guys are dealing with some inner conflicts, right? Got to deal with those first and then you can do, do the outer stuff. Some of the outer stuff is going to be the things that we see out in the world. For some of you guys, somebody, it looks like somebody released something about you online. Something with bare breasts, something with genitals, something with somebody holding a wand. Now, in tarot, the wand is going to represent some kind of sexual energy or something like that. As a matter of fact, with the chariot card, this card could suggest that somebody may have lied on you. Maybe you took a trip somewhere. Maybe you got on the road. Somebody could have came back and said, yeah, I had sex with Aries B on the road. This, this, this talks about some sexual frisson, frisson that was happened out on the road. Somebody could have had some kind of sexcapade out on the road. For somebody, they posted something on the internet about you or somebody else here. This could have been a group of people who posted it. These people could have been a Leo or Taurus. It could have been a, an Aquarius or a Scorpio. But I will tell you this. The really important piece of this is another couple of signs that actually show up here is doing something that was really significant. Let me just see if I can find it really quick. Okay. So this is what we know, right? We have we may have had some energies post something about you, but who gave birth to the actual stuff? It was a Virgo and a Leo. A Virgo and a Leo put you on the internet, Aries. At the end of the day, because they did that to you, I'm going to go back. Somebody posted something about you, bare breasts, genitals, holding a wand, if you guys know what that means. It was a magician, a Gemini or a Virgo and a Leo who gave somebody some content or gave somebody access to something or gave somebody something. 
it was a Leo, an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a Taurus that could have reposted something, meaning get some. I, I paid so-and-so to get this, and they posted it, right? So there was some sort of transaction that took place, and it was a Virgo, and it was a Leo that did it. They're the ones that handed it over. Those, those are the ones that sold it over to whoever, right? Over the World Wide Web. For some of you guys here, somebody's leaving the country. There's something with travel. Somebody's completing something. Immigration. A goal or a lesson has been learned. Aries B, I see the Three of Pentacles shows up for you. I feel like some of you guys get fired from a job or some of you guys get asked not to complete a training. So basically they walked you off. There's no need for you to continue on with this training for the next three weeks. We're afraid that you weren't able to make it past the first couple of months. So based off our observation and what we see, we're not going to continue with this relationship. It is severed. It's over. We're going to ask you to leave. The cards are saying here that whatever this is about, you may have been asked to work in some sort of a group here. The cards say that you are not making the efforts required to make it in today's workplace. For some of you guys, you were or are stuck in a job that you don't like. But it says you lack the confidence to go on. So confidence to leave a position that you don't like or I don't know, or they fire you. I don't know which one, you know. Take your pick. I don't know. <clears throat> Remember that episode of the nanny? Something about get unemployment. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so yeah, something like that, right? So whatever happens here. But I do want to say this, right? The cards are saying here for Aries B, thought without action, you're not going to go anywhere. So I see you guys trying to move away from a situation, gain control over your life. It looks like somebody did something to you on the World Wide Web, or you're a part of this crew who released something about somebody on the web. For some of you guys, you were working with this group of people here. Let me see something. Yep. You were working with this group of people here. This could have been somebody at your job. This is about office politics. Somebody did something to you at work. Somebody tried to end you at work, right? Tried to end your career for both you guys, right? Now, what I do see here that you guys have in common is this Gemini energy, this Libra Aquarius Gemini energy here, right? Because we have the lover that comes up. So I guess it makes some perfect sense. There's something here about you guys both needing to have caution in all dealings. <clears throat> I will tell you this. There's a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini. There could be, um, there could be a Cancer. There's a group of people here, I want to say. There's a group of people, and I feel like this world card is clarified with by uh, the Three of Pentacles reversed, where you're not making it in some group or something is going on with the work. Office politics, not making it. Whatever is going on here, I feel like for you guys, there's this communication that is going on here. So there's communication going on with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. It says here... You need to keep your wits about you when you deal with this energy. This is somebody at your job. This is a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. You guys both are being advised to keep your wits about you when it comes to some situation here because things are not quite what they seem. You have somebody sitting near you or monitoring you or, I don't know, reporting back to somebody about you, trying to steal something from you. This is a seven of swords. These people or whoever these folks are, the common energy is they want something from you, trying to take something. There's theft here. This could be identity theft for some of you guys. This is betrayal. This is dishonesty. This is somebody trying to run away from a situation, get away from it. I didn't do it, but mostly dishonesty. I feel like somebody lied about y'all. All right. I feel like somebody lied about a couple of things. Hold on. Let me see what that is over there. fortune yeah right <clears throat> but some of y'all somebody could have lied and said for aries a somebody could have lied about the way you got your money they could have said all types of things but i do see where the energy is very focused on work but it kind of feels like you know you do anything to keep make sure your stability and your fortune is good but it also looks like you entered a relationship with aries with this thought in your head like you can get me further if I enter this relationship with you it's going to give me some kind of status it's going to help me fend off some kind of competition it's going to give me status so I feel like maybe some of you guys could have been using Aries B Aries B is on the road right 
they got their stuff together. They're trying to be middle of the road. This person could be in government. So I'm assuming this is a very serious energy that comes up here. You got in this Aries A. You tried to get with Aries B because of status. This person is trying to be bipartisan, trying to do their job, right? Middle of the road, coming up with solutions. They're dealing with something that is worldly here. This person could travel a lot. This person could travel internationally, right? But something is being completed, whatever this is about. <clears throat> I feel like for some of you guys also, sticking to your beliefs, Aries A, you have some belief about Aries B. For some of you guys, you don't agree with this person's lifestyle or you don't understand how something is on the internet about them or there's something that you don't understand. Some of you guys might be reluctant to even date this Aries because of something that you thought you heard or something that you thought you saw. And most likely it wasn't even their fault. But at the end of the day here, I feel like you still, Aries A, got with Aries B for some kind of status. When I take a look at this last card, you are not making it here. Not making the efforts. Office politics here. Somebody's doing sloppy work. You went into some sort of a group. Aries B, some of you guys worked with a cancer. Some of you guys worked with a notorious uh, project was sloppy. Some of this group of people could have been tailed like all four of the fixed signs. It could have been a cancer. Whatever this group work is. It was sloppy, but the common energy is this Libra Aquarius Gemini energy. Things are not what they appear to be, and imprudence will do you in. So somebody could be doing a little bit more than they need to be doing in terms of spending and being, you know, flashy and things like that, whatever this is about for you. All right, so we have that energy coming up. Uh, let me see what else we need to pull. I don't know if this is some, so this seems like work to me. But can you tell me what's going on with this sickness? Because I feel like Aries doesn't want some sort of a sickness to come out or something like that. Something with a sickness. I'm going to shuffle one of these cards. There's something going on with a sickness. Let me put that down there. All right. What's up with the sickness, please? Somebody is dying. There's something about composed. Somebody could be dying. I don't want anybody to know that I'm going shortly or I'm going whatever. Give me one more, please, about this sickness. What else? Somebody is a part of a secret society or trying to honor a secret society or something like that. That's why this queen is reversed here. And that's why somebody's operating in bully energy because they have to. They're a part of a society, Aries B. This is workforce. This is abuse of power. Somebody's doing something, thievery at work. This could be identity work, identity theft. This could be something even stealing paper from the job. Who knows? Give me one more, please. What's going on over here with this other Aries A with their fortune? What's that about? Because they're at a mad dash for cash. What's all this about? Uh, somebody could be a cross-dresser. Maybe you don't want people to know that. Or somebody's dealing with a lover who's a cross-dresser. At the end of the day, it couldn't tell something that is bisexual, gay, whatever. Give me one more, please. What else could this fortune be about? I feel like somebody might think their job is in jeopardy if something comes out. Crimes against animals, what they do sexually with animals. This is going to impact their fortune. What else? Give me more. Oops. Somebody's in debt. I'm not going to take it, but it did come out. Somebody could be in debt. What's going on here? What's going on here? Ooh. Something about dating. I don't want people to know I'm dating somebody. Something about dating. Somebody's stalking. Give me more. What else? What else? Okay. Well, where'd that go? Abuse and neglect. Somebody's being abused and neglected in a dating scene. This relationship entails a bad relationship <clears throat> and abuse or neglect. And somebody doesn't want somebody to know. But remember, this person might be doing that. Aries A, this comes across as abusive or something like that. Give me, uh, give me Aries B. What's going on with Aries B, please? What's going on with Aries B? We have something about jealousy coming up. Somebody's jealous. This jealous energy is coming up. We see that because they're the queen reverse. So we already know what that is. On top of that, they're, they ain't feeling good. So, and they a bully. We also have cryptocurrency. Somebody, because it falls under theft. Somebody stole some cryptocurrency. So Aries B... Crypto theft is coming up under you. Crypto thefts. We have somebody who doesn't want to acknowledge that they're abusive or something in a relationship with this other person over here who's got the status. Aries B has a status. Aries A wants the status. I want to be with you because you can do more for me. You're in government. You can cover up something with this crime against humanities and these secrets I got with this lover. Something about a natural disaster. 
somebody tried to say something was natural and it was not. Give me one more, please. For Aries B. <clears throat> With this theft thing, weather manipulation. Somebody's manipulating the weather, whatever that means to you. Somebody's making it rain when it shouldn't. Somebody's also saying something was natural when it wasn't. So there's some kind of manipulation going on. It could have to do with an illusion illusion or something with your environment. Jealousy, cryptocurrency. If somebody's creating some sort of an illusion to cover up a crime for cryptocurrency. Give me more. They're bullying somebody. Lockdown is coming up. It says something about lockdown. That sounds like prison. Or maybe at some point we're going to see some prisons locked down or something like that. Something's going to go on at a prison. There's going to be something that happens with the weather, and the jails are going to have to figure out how to deal with it. Now, I've been hearing some weird weather stuff, so y'all better plan ahead to figure out how you're going to deal with that. I don't know if there are some places susceptible to... I don't know why I'm feeling like water, but I also feel like it could be fire. Yeah, it feels like there's some fire that's sparked by electricity of some sort. Give me more for Aries B, please. What else? Something about loss. Something is not lost. Somebody's saying something's lost and it is not. And that could be the money. Something with a government mockingbird. A government controlled media. Somebody doesn't want something to get out Aries B. So if you guys are not able to be seen for some reason, it's on purpose. Give me one more for this Aries A. We also have top secret. Something, something is top secret. Crimes against humanity. Somebody's involved with crimes against humanity, animals, cross-dressing when it comes to certain things. Something that will impact their fortune if... If their job gets impacted, it's something that impacts their reputations as well. Crimes against humanity, cross-dressing, they don't want that to get out. Something with a death is common between these two people. And there's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini that knows about this. They know because there's a secret society involved here. There's also something about bullying, so they don't tell. They're going to be nasty. They're going to be cruel with the queen reversed. They're going to be unloving. They're going to be demanding. In some cases, depending on what queen this is, this could be a queen of pentacles reverse. That's somebody who could be a sex worker, somebody who was a sex worker, somebody who assists criminals, something like that. Somebody who may have some connection to a government, like I said, because that's Aries B. There's government that comes up here. There's lockdown, cryptocurrency. One is more worried about love, right, and getting a relationship off the ground. The other one's a serious worker, but they're nasty. They're evil. They're part of some sort of secret society and they are also sick of an illness that is incurable yet they're still bullying one more <clears throat> dna something about dna i'm gonna let that go let me get a conversation so i can get y'all up out of here because i'm trying to see who these these people are i will say aries b is having a little bit more encounter and comp there's some sort of interaction being had with a cancer that's really important that you need to deal with. And you need to get the stuff on the inside, taken care of, Aries B. And then you can deal with the stuff on the outside, right? The enemies and the obstacles that are coming up in the midst of this. So you got this demon that you need to deal with on the inside. And then you can carry your, uh, your gangsta on the outside. Give me a conversation. Aries A, what do you have to say to Aries B, please? Aries A, what do you have to say to Aries B? You make me want to be a better person, okay? Yep. All right, so now, they're saying that now, but they just wanted you for your money before, or it feels like a status thing. Also, I am not intimidated by you. This person is saying they are no longer intimidated by you, or they're standing up and saying, I am not. Give me one more, please. Twin flame. This person believes that you guys are twin flames. I'm going to say I don't necessarily agree with that, but whatever. Give me more, please. What does Aries B have to say to Aries A? Oh, okay. I'll take... Oh, that's too many. Hold on, now. That's too many. Tell, what does... Okay. What does Aries B have to say to Aries A? I still have some growing to do. Somebody says that they have... I don't have any more growing to do. I know what I want. Give me more, please. I miss you. I'm assuming there's a separation. You make me a better you make me want to be a better person. I'm not intimidated by you. I miss you. Give me more. Reverse. I abandon people to make myself feel more important. I no longer abandon people to make myself feel more important. I feel like somebody's doing some growing. Common energy. I find you incredibly attractive. Jeez. Oh, okay. What's that death card about, please? The death card? 
you are always on my mind. I feel like it's the death of a relationship. It wasn't able to get up off the ground the way you guys wanted it to. It could be because of somebody's schedule. I feel empty without you. I feel like that you guys like each other, but I feel like two people are in it for different reasons. I feel like Aries B is, well, they ain't feeling too good and they mean and all time. I don't know what the heck. I don't know why. It got to be a status thing. I can't see no other reason why you would want to um, get that. I don't know. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, I just wanted to take a look at that. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Ah, 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 please. Did I do those? Yeah, I did. I did the other cards. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.